Oh, I didn't forget. I absolutely didn't forget. Did you think I was just gonna read the bad reviews for Barbie and not give Oppenheimer the same treatment? You couldn't be more wrong. We are reading the worst reviews for the movie Oppenheimer. Now, if you haven't already checked out my last video, I read the worst reviews for the Barbie movie. Link is down in the description for that. We are not here to talk about the Barbie movie. We are here to discuss Oppenheimer, all right? And all the stickies and the nasties. We're getting right down to the nitty gritty. So let's get straight to it. Let's look at some numbers real quick. All right, so 94% of the critics recommend that you go watch this film. And 93% of the audience recommend that you go watch this film. Almost 400 reviews from the critics and over 5,000 verified ratings from the audience. So this is pretty good, all right? This is higher critic and audience scores than the Barbie movie, but they were both basically in the 90s together. Very solid films. The thing about Oppenheimer is that it is a major history lesson, and if you don't know anything about Oppenheimer, it's going to be a lot to take in. But enough of that. Let's get straight into reading the worst reviews, and let's start with the critics. All right. Leonardo Garcia Sao? The world forever changed after the atomic bomb. The world of Simona after Oppenheimer remains fundamentally the same. This entire page has literally no splats on it. Look at this. Tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Jeez. There we go. This is what we need. Kevin Carr, fat guys at the movies. Bloated and overblown. Nolan shows little respect and understanding of actual science while he builds a convoluted narrative. Armand White, hey, he was in the last video. Let's read his review for this one. Because Nolan's politics are always obscure, it's good that his filmmaking is so slick, yet laborious, convoluted, and enervating. Otherwise, a perverse, immoral epic like Oppenheimer might be dangerous. So I guess he doesn't like Nolan's politics, but the movie looked good. Eric Kane from Forbes. It's the delivery that leaves me a little cold, a little dizzy, but not fun dizzy. The twists that make a film like Interstellar so powerful simply don't work in a true story quite as effectively. We got Richard Propis, TheIndependentCritic.com. If Greta Gerwig can manage to make a plastic doll feel human, why can't Nolan do the same for the father of the atomic bomb? I mean, I, I thought... I thought Killian Murphy's acting for Oppenheimer was actually pretty good. I mean, dude's making the atomic bomb that is basically, you know, killing millions and millions of people. He created a machine that kills millions and millions of people. So it's like, you're not really going to act so human if you created something like that. You're not going to act like the average human. Two straight pages of nothing but great reviews. Finally come across a bad review. Oppenheimer is ambitious and includes many mesmerizing, often brilliant moments. But those moments cannot sustain themselves nor find common ground as a single compelling narrative or perspective. Christian M. Lin. There's a better, smaller movie inside Oppenheimer. It just got swallowed up. So, so what was it? I was just confused. Like, what? Oppenheimer was the main thing, so what was the what was the smaller movie about? Luke Buckmaster. <laughs> it's laughable, like his last name. To suggest Oppenheimer and Strauss' moral crimes are comparable, but Nolan goes further than that, emphasizes that latter's chicanery and highlighter pen while the protagonist receives the soft glow of nuance. Emily Wheeler. It postures intelligence precisely, but in the end has little to say. Top critic, you know we have to get a top critic review in. Odie Henderson. What I can say for sure is that Oppenheimer far too often feels like a three hour Wikipedia entry than a compelling movie. Yeah, I kind of, th this is the one where I kind of agree with. Like I said, the watching Oppenheimer is like watching a movie in your history class, all right? And you have to pay attention to it because if you miss any detail or you doze off for the slightest moment, you won't know what's going on because there's so much information being thrown at you if you don't know anything about Oppenheimer. And I was one of those people. That's enough of what the critics had to say. Now it's time for us to move into what the audience has to say. And this is my favorite part of the video because the audience does not hold back. George. Film was going great until the explicit scenes came in. 
thought it was totally unnecessary for this film and quite vulgar and distasteful. Who wants to see someone naked and committing lewd acts? Hey man, when you're making an atomic bomb, you're gonna have to blow off some steam by busting down some cheeks, man. All right, give Oppenheimer a break, dude. Chop 68, half a one star, Jesus. Not one likable character in the entire movie. It's because they're not characters, they're real people. Boring plot line, boring scientists mixed with super dysfunctional women. Awkward sex scenes for no plot outcomes, very odd. Can't understand how this got such a high Rotten Tomato score. Maybe trying to take away audience from Sound of Freedom? War is bad? Nuclear weapons come with great responsibility? Like, we didn't already know that? Boring scientists, like, that's just how they acted because they're acting like how the real people they're portraying acted so sorry he didn't write Oppenheimer as a cool guy you know with like dueling pistols just going around town shooting up people and making bombs but I will say it was boring a little bit Mel frenetic constant parade of characters introduced briefly you have no clue who they are then never to be seen again yeah, that's happened quite a bit. Absolutely no sense of setting, i.e. World War II era feeling of wartime. No depiction of the bombs themselves being dropped and the devastation wrought. Just a boring mess of a film that could have been such a fascinating story. A lot of people are saying this is boring. This man, Irv. Jeez, this is why I say the audience does not hold back. This movie is fucking horrible. An immense waste of time and money. Nadine S. Boring and slow. Fell asleep and would not recommend this one. I did not fall asleep, but it was boring. RGB. Robert Jr. Brown. Totally unnecessary nude scenes. All the names and flashbacks, flash forward scenes were hard to follow. They were very hard to follow. Like I said, it's a lot. Zitro 68. All right, there's another 68 in here. From exploiting Florence Pugh to the bomb having all but three minutes of screen time, from horrific editing to absolute unnecessary nudity, unbelievably bad story telling and film editing. I will say the bomb drop was the most underwhelming thing I could possibly have seen. Honestly, I sat through the movie waiting for that scene. Carol, acting was great, movie was too long, was confusing with the back and forth history. We're gonna do two more bad reviews, but we're getting some good ones. Gavin A. I dislike that they sprang a lot of explicit scenes on us with no hint in the trailers. Had I known, I would have avoided this movie. There's a lot of people that are against these scenes, you know, the dirty scenes. Reason why, I guess they just want those kind of scenes to have a little bit of meaning and substance. No one just likes casual boobies in movies. The last one, Chris. Too many jumps in time. Too long and boring. Not a masterpiece. A snooze fest. If I watched it at home, I would have switched it off after 20 minutes. I kind of agree with you a little bit. That pretty much wraps it up. If you made it to the end of the video and you enjoyed this video, which I know you did, go ahead and leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below on your honest opinion and your true thoughts on the movie Oppenheimer. And also, which movie did you like better? Did you like Barbie or did you like Oppenheimer a little bit more? Or have you not even seen either of them? Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Turn on post notifications and thanks for watching.